Hello and welcome. My name is Alan and we are back with more members of the 118th Congress. Today, we look at Representative Stephen Horsford, who is the representative for the 4th District of Nevada which is just above Las Vegas covering the southern portion of the state except Vegas itself. He is a Democrat and before he took office he was preceded in office by Reuben Kiwin I believe that's what it says. Okay, Reuben Kiwin. Um, now, let's take a look at who he is as an individual. He was born in Las Vegas, Nevada on April the 29th, 1973. Graduated from Clark High School in Las Vegas, Nevada. Earned a Bachelor of Arts from the University of Nevada, Reno, Nevada in 2014. Has been a professional advocate, a business executive, member of the Nevada State Senate from 20, uh, 2004 to 2012, majority leader from 2009 to 2012 before being elected to the 113th. Congress um, had an unsuccessful candidacy for re-election to the 114th, elected as a Democrat to the 116th and the two following Congresses. Now, let's look at the committees he is on. He is on the Committee on Armed Services, of which he's on the Subcommittee on Military Personnel and the Subcommittee on Tactical Air and Land Forces. And he's on the Committee on Financial Services, of which he's on the Subcommittee on Housing and Insurance and the Subcommittee on Oversight and Investigations. Now, let's look at the top five industry donors over his career. At the top, we have Leadership Packs, who altogether donated $1,251,541. Next to Securities and Investment, who altogether have donated $1,143,000 thousand five hundred and fourteen dollars next is lawyers and law firms who all together have donated eight hundred and ten thousand two hundred and forty dollars next is real estate who all together have donated seven hundred and seventy one thousand eighty nine dollars and at number five is health professionals who all together have donated $717,068. Now, let's take a look at his top five individual donors and contributors over his career. At the top, number one, we have MGM Resorts International. And it is an American global hospitality and entertainment company operating destination resorts in Las Vegas, Massachusetts, Michigan, Mississippi, Maryland, Ohio, and New Jersey, including Bellagio, Mandalay Bay, MGM Grand, and Park MGM. Altogether, it has donated... 
$198,056. And once again, that's MGM Resorts International. Next, at number two, we have Blackstone Group, and they are an American alternative investment management company based in New York City. Altogether, they have donated $117,882. And once again, that's Blackstone Group. Next, at number three, we have Ameripac, the Fund for a Greater America. And they are a political action committee that was founded in 1992 by Steny Hoyer. Altogether, it has donated $96,600. And once again, that's Ameripac, the Fund for a Greater America. Next, at number four, we have the Credit Union National Association, commonly known as CUNA. It is a national trade association for both state and federally chartered credit unions located in the United States. Altogether, it has donated $76,000. And once again, that's the Credit Union National Association. And at number five, we have Berkshire Hathaway, and they are an American multinational conglomerate holding company headquartered in Omaha, Nebraska. Altogether, it has donated $75,021, and once again, that's Berkshire Hathaway. Dude, I don't like any of your industry donors, as far as individual, Kuna's is fine, it's good, MGM Resorts, I mean, it's okay, I guess, rest of them, eh, eh, anyway, this has been a look at Stephen Horsford, who represents the fourth district of Nevada. As always, educate thyself. Think, read, study, learn. Someone tells you something you have trouble believing, ask them to cite their sources. I'll be putting these links in the description box below the video. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, later. Thank you.